Hi, Cancer. This is Jeffrey. This is Red Color. And um, this is the reading, sorry, this is the reading for January uh, 2023. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I offer private readings. I also offer private readings. If you'd like uh, one question answered, I'm offering a special like 10, 15 minute reading for $30. It's on, it's below. And um, I wanted to just say thank you um, for supporting me, for uh, likes, comments, shares, membership, purchasing things. I really appreciate it. Uh, donations, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. I, you know, I'm, I belong to this group. It's like on WhatsApp and it's like a Spanish English exchange. So there, you know, and, you know, we get together once a week for, um, like uh, language and you know they do social things together but sometimes I, I they see the feed and it's like oh, i don't really want to go with you um anyway so it, it like keeps on going and then um and you know so i was going to say the message is like you know mind your own business unless it involves you right then i see this message just before that Anyone know about summer jobs in Mexico City? I'm an English teacher. It's like, mm -hmm, pay attention. Pay attention, you know. I mean, I don't have a degree to teach, but Texas don't really need them. As long as you have a native English speaker, they're good with that. Anyway, I'm open. I'm open. So it's kind of like, well, don't... If it affects your business, then pay attention. If it doesn't affect your business, then don't pay attention. Because it's like you got you have other fish to fry. That's my little January message. Because like usually whatever's going on with me is the little mini message. All right. I'm super I'm like I'm slouching. <laughs> I don't want to slouch. Relax is one thing. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. So uh, he takes responsibility for himself and for the things he did right, for the things he did wrong. He takes full and utter responsibility. Okay. <clears throat> and that opens the door. That opens the door, you know, because it, it's not like he's putting his head in the sand or you know, he's taking full responsibility, but he's only taking responsibility for himself. He's not taking responsibility for everybody else. And then I get the nine of pentacles and the nine of pentacles is a really good card. It's about wealth. It's about comfort, about entrepreneurship and stuff. But also there's an energy in the nine of pentacles of like, she's alone in her garden and she's quite happy. You know, she doesn't need to know what's going on with the neighbors. She, you know, her estate is so big. She has, you know, she doesn't even know where the neighbors are. <laughs> so there's that energy of like, I'm in my body, I'm in my life, I'm in my home, I've taken responsibility and I don't really need to know this or that or that or this. And I feel like it's kind of about, I don't know, gossip. I, I find gossip to be really, really, um, toxic honestly toxic i i really don't uh as best i can i really don't uh involve myself in it and then i have the ace of pentacles so i feel like if you keep your energy yourself then maybe a new opportunity comes up a new illumination um a new clarity uh a new um, maybe a new way to make money a new way to be more secure, um, wise use of time. Look at that. The Two of Cups, Two of Cups. I mean, the Two of Cups, uh, you know, traditionally is like you meet someone and they meet you and they like you and you like them, you know, all that. And that's good. And, it, you know, if that's the energy that's coming through, then that's great because it's it's equal. It's equal. They're both offering cups. Not like one offering cup and the other one isn't. But the other thing about the two of cups is it's really like meeting one's own self. It's really meeting one's own um, higher self and being healed through it. Really interesting. 
Yeah, it, well, it looks like it's your higher self because <laughs> here comes the hermit. And so the hermit and the nine of um, pentacles, they're both about, the nine of pentacles is in a certain way about seeking your own comfort, right? This is what makes me comfortable. This is what I like to wear. This is what I like to eat. This is when I want to wake up. She has no answer to. The hermit is really interesting because the hermit is really the scholar and digs really, really deep, goes into the dark alone, uh, digs really, really deep until he finds the light, right? And the light that he finds is really his own light. It's the, it's this energy of, um, where does my soul want to lead me? So, you know, sometimes if we're involved with this one and that one and everybody and social and blah, 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 I don't really have time for myself. I don't really have time to discover what it is that um, I'm being beckoned toward, what I'm uh, what makes me me. But you will discover it because here comes the page of swords in a really clear manner. And maybe there are things that you'll be willing to give up in order, so let's say, you know, when you do this deep dive, you discover some things that work, some things that don't work, some things that you might want to give up, right? So, because that's what the, the hangman is. And um, it's interesting because both the hermit and the hanged man, um, and in a certain way, the nine of pentacles, they're not really moving. They're sitting, observing, they're relaxing. I mean, she's relaxing. The hermit is searching, but he moves really, really slowly. And then the hanged man is on pause. And he's on pause because he's decided to see things from a different perspective. He's decided to um, release like habits or ways of thinking or ways of looking at things that just don't serve him anymore. It just doesn't serve him anymore. And, um, you know, it's not, you know, it's a self-sacrifice, a willing self-sacrifice, but it's not painful. It, you know, it doesn't, it's not... Um, it's it's a different energy. It's like, um, like let's say you realize like your diet really is unhealthy, really isn't healthy. And then it's, suddenly you're just tired of eating like really crappy food. So it's not like, oh, what will I do without it? It's not like that. It's like, this doesn't really do anything for me. This doesn't really uh, serve me anymore. And I, I'm just... Or it could be an attitude, you know? It's like, maybe I'm too, um, I don't know, distrustful. And it's not really serving me. You know, at, at one time it did, and it was great. But right now, it's like, I'm in a safe place. Everything's good. I don't have to be so distrustful. Or something like that. It, it's like, it just sort of like, uh, it, you know, it's this energy of like, you know, when you're wearing a raincoat that's waterproof. And the, the rain just rolls off like water off a duck's back. Yeah, because you've learned your lesson. You've incorporated it. But I don't feel, it doesn't feel like drama. It doesn't feel, um, you know, you were shooken up. It doesn't feel like that at all. It feels like, I don't know, I used to do that. And I, does, it, I don't really like doing it anymore. So I'm not going to do it. I've learned my lesson. And I'm, in an, I'm going in a new direction. I've rebalanced myself. I've decided to change my mind. Right? And I, I decided to like maybe have a, a more of an optimistic attitude and, and to see things clearly. And to see things clearly. And I, maybe you hadn't been seeing things clearly. And now it's... But it, it feels like a natural progression. It doesn't feel like... It's like an easy lesson. It's like an easy lesson. I mean, yeah, you have to go inside for a while. You know, you might have to search around in the dark. But it doesn't feel, it feels like an easy lesson. 
That's the way it feels. Nice. Yeah, and I'm moving forward into the future. I have a really clear vision. Let that old energy, that old habit, that old way of thinking behind me. And um, and now I'm just moving on into the future. Um, you know what it feels like? You know how they, they, you know, when you're in high school, there's this energy like you learn a lot in your junior year, right? And then your senior year, you coast, whatever. But it, it's a little bit like that. It's like It's like senior year. It's like, yeah, you went through the whole thing. And now it's time to like graduate and, you know, move forward, get a job or go to college or whatever. Right. It's time to, you know, it's almost like there's lessons in high school with those people in high school, the energy. It's like, well, I was like that in high school, but, you know, now I'm like a little more mature and it's like, it's not that important for me to be the cheerleader or the, or the, or the nerd or the whatever you are or were, you know, it's like, well, that was my identity then, or that was the way I used to think then, but I, it doesn't, um, I don't know. I don't really vibe with it anymore. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of different. Like that's the way it feels. All right. I've taken responsibility and I, I've been minding my own business and, and really relishing my time. I've changed my mind. I'm seeing things clearly. New ideas are coming in because I've really looked deep inside myself. I've met my own reflection. Interesting. And um, I'm willing to give things up and no longer work because I've, I've learned my lesson and I've, I'm kind of reborn in a new direction moving forward but it feels like really easy you know it's like you know sometimes we we there are certain i don't know lessons that we learn and it's almost like putting on something really uncomfortable like like a suit that doesn't fit right you know it's like really tight under the arm and like you know it, like the fabric is you know cheap or something like that and it's like, I feel really uncomfortable. Or wearing a uniform sort of thing. It's like, this doesn't fit. This feels like putting on your pajamas or sweatpants or something. It's like, yeah, it's just like a natural progression. It's like, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm wearing my pajamas on my home. It's good. A little bit like that. All right. Lovely. The water signs have had pretty much a, a really nice little thing and i can't say the same for the air and the uh earth but whatever that's how it goes blessings